Another four employees of the waste isolation pilot plant have tested positive for low levels of radiation exposure after a radiation leak at the plant last month. That brings the total up to 17. Energy department officials don't expect any of those employees to experience any serious health effects. The coast appears clear for a team to re-enter a small underground portion of New Mexico's crippled WIP site. That radiation leak contaminated much of the nuclear waste mine. However, sensors lowered Friday show no detectable radiation at the bottom of two shafts isolated from that leak site. So plans are underway for a human team to go down and find out what caused that leak. Reporter Bob Martin has the latest on what is known from Carlsbad. Three weeks later and it remains a mystery. Valentine's night radioactive contamination from the tunnels below escapes here into the open air. No one was underground, but at least 17 workers on the surface inhaled some of the radioactive particles. WIP experts say the levels breathed in were so low, lower than background radiation, and far below EPA limits, the employees have no health risk. The contamination drifted across the countryside and 26 miles west all the way to the city of Carlsbad itself. Nuclear experts told residents worried about children, WIP contamination now confirmed to have reached the town is not dangerous. Below any limits, just above background, and would result in no health potential to a child or a fetus. It all began 2,000 feet down in a bed of salt. There are dozens of rooms, each the length of a football field. Crews stack waste containers here from defense plants all over America. Once full, rooms are sealed, like this. Fresh air flows down through this shaft, passes throughout the tunnels and open waste storage rooms, and then goes back to the surface in another shaft. Panel 7 is where workers most recently put waste. The radiation leak is believed to be here. Those sensors lowered last week probed this area far upwind of the leak and detected no radiation. So a human team will likely first be sent to this safe area. Coincidentally, more than half a mile away from Panel 7, almost two weeks before the leak, Whip had a fire down here. A salt truck burned. Because of that, no workers were in the mine. That night, the leak was first detected by an air monitor sitting here. Because the air was flowing over the waste and then past the monitor, it's thought most likely part of the roof of the mine here collapsed on and ruptured containers. Another possibility, a container blew up. When the first radiation was detected below, air filters here were automatically engaged where mine air returns to the surface. Most of the contamination was captured, but a small fraction escaped into the air. No one will know for sure what happened until man or robot physically gets to panel 7. WIP tunnels are designed to eventually collapse on the waste just years later, not while workers are here. Roof sections here have collapsed before, two decades ago during stress tests. Hundreds of tons of salt crash down. To prevent that, long roof bolts are drilled deep into the ceilings of tunnels. Salt is elastic, though, so from the first moment tunnels are dug, they start to close back in. Roof bolts slow down, but don't stop that. Since the beginning, miners have patrolled the underground with big poles, knocking off flakes that have begun to crack loose so they don't hurt someone. Regardless of what they determine actually caused the accident, the Department of Energy says there's no basis to some of the rumors floating around the area here that WIP might get shut down. That question has not come up a single time. The question has not been if we're going to open WIP, it's been how can we get it reopened. WIP experts say a safe fix for whatever went wrong will have to be devised and the sprawling tunnels will have to be decontaminated before any disposal resumes. We will not jeopardize the safety of our workers, the employees out there, and the, the public and their environment. You know, I'm a homegrown Carlsbad and I, I have family here also, and if I didn't feel that we were doing things safe, I would stop. Bob Martin, KRQE News 13, Carlsbad. WIP officials are promising more town hall meetings to update the public. Managers also say they'll issue a lot of letters to people in the Carlsbad area to keep them informed as new data comes in. All right, Chris.